Dopamine, that magical little brain chemical that convinces you to chase your dreams, or scroll TikTok for four hours straight because some guy's making cereal in a vacuum chamber. It's the reason you ate six donuts last night and why you're considering a seventh right now. Today, we're talking dopamine, what it is, why it's hijacking your brain, and how to stop being its adorable little puppet. Welcome to the circus inside your skull. Quick science. Dopamine is not your pleasure chemical. That's marketing. It doesn't make you feel good. It makes you want to feel good. Dopamine is your brain's motivational push. It's like your mental hype man yelling, go get that cookie, even if you're not hungry, even if you just had three. It's the chemical behind goals, ambition, obsession, and that weird compulsion to check your phone every 14 seconds. Let's play a game. What do all of these have in common? Social media likes, online shopping, binge watching shows, fast food, text from that one person you shouldn't text. Yep, they all hit you with a sweet, delicious squirt of dopamine. Not because they're good, but because they might be good. Dopamine loves potential. Your brain chases that maybe this will be amazing moment like a raccoon chasing glitter. Here's the real trick. It's not the reward that hits you. It's the anticipation. You get a little dopamine when you think something good is coming. That's why checking your phone is more addictive than actually reading what's on it. That's why the first bite of pizza tastes better than the eighth. That's why new hobbies are exciting. Until you actually have to do them, it's the chase. Dopamine is the world's worst dating app. All promise, no delivery. And then comes the crash. The more easy dopamine you get likes, sugar, cat videos, the less exciting it all feels. You build tolerance. Your baseline drops. Now you need more stimulation just to feel meh. Suddenly reading a book feels like punishment. Walking outside feels like a chore. Everything feels dull. Congratulations. You're now the proud owner of a dopamine deficit. Here's what that looks like in your actual life. You open your phone without thinking. You start 12 things, finish none. You feel busy but never productive. You scroll endlessly but retain zero happiness. And you're weirdly exhausted for someone who's done absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's dopamine burnout. It's not just you. It's literally your brain chemistry crying for help. So what do you do? Go live in the woods? Delete all your apps and start whittling sticks? Maybe, but let's try something less dramatic first. Here's how to hit a mild dopamine reset. One, delay gratification, work before reward. Do the boring task, then scroll. Two, take a break from quick hits. One hour, no phone, you'll survive, probably. Three, let yourself be bored, seriously. Boredom is where ideas hide. Four, finish things. Dopamine loves closure. Cross stuff off, brag to yourself. You're not punishing yourself, you're retraining your brain to enjoy real life again. Wild, right? Now don't cancel dopamine entirely. Without it, you wouldn't get out of bed or chase goals or flirt or survive. Honestly, your ancestors had dopamine too. It told them, go find food or you'll die. Now it tells you, go find Oreos or you'll be slightly inconvenienced. Same system, different stakes. Dopamine isn't evil, it's just overly enthusiastic like a puppy that keeps knocking over your life trying to be helpful. Here's the bottom line. Dopamine drives your actions, but you don't have to let it drive your entire existence. Use it wisely, train it gently, laugh at it often. You can still enjoy the occasional hit of junk dopamine. Just don't let it replace your actual goals, passions, or peace of mind. Because the real win isn't chasing the next little hit of maybe. It's choosing what actually matters and letting your brain learn to love that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, or ignore this completely. Whatever gives you the best dopamine hit. See you next time.